Understanding, I am successful, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore a common phrase in English, I am successful. We'll break down its meaning, usage, and variations. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your English skills, this video will provide valuable insights. So, let's dive in. I am successful is a phrase that expresses personal achievement or accomplishment. It's used when someone wants to convey that they have reached their goals or are doing well in their endeavors. This phrase is often associated with professional success, but it can also refer to personal achievements. Key points. Personal achievement indicates reaching personal goals. Professional success, often related to career or business achievements. Versatile usage can refer to various types of successes. Understanding when to use I am successful is crucial. It's appropriate in situations where you want to express confidence or share achievements. However, it's important to be mindful of the context as boasting about success can sometimes be perceived as arrogance. Examples, professional setting. I feel I am successful in my role as a team leader. Personal achievement. After years of hard work, I am successful in my personal fitness goals. Cultural context can influence how this phrase is received. In some cultures, openly discussing personal success is normal while in others, it might be seen as less modest. Being aware of these nuances is important for effective communication. Points to consider. Cultural sensitivity. Understand the cultural background of your audience. Modesty. Balance confidence with humility. There are many ways to express success in English. Here are some alternatives. I have achieved my goals. I am accomplished in my field. I have reached my objectives. Note, these alternatives can convey the same meaning but might be more suitable in different contexts. I am successful is a powerful phrase that conveys achievement and accomplishment. Remember, the key is to use it appropriately and consider the cultural context of your audience. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase effectively in your English conversations. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.